It's still cold outside, but here in Penticton, the BC wine industry is looking forward to tourism season, which is why they held a conference at the Penticton Lakeside Resort to discuss strategies for their industry. Well, today we're having uh, the BC wine industry uh, insight forum, and it's the first of what we hope to be uh, many over the years, uh, pulling together of all the different uh, industry groups here in the province that contribute to the winemaking and selling and marketing uh, of BC wine. And we faced a lot of challenges and opportunities, quite frankly, tremendous growth over the last number of years. And we thought it's just a good time to take a deep breath and uh, take a look at uh, where we're at and where we want to go. Representatives from 85 wineries and grape growers attended the forum, as well as members of the tourism industry. We're a very small grape growing region, and so we're very selective uh, of where we can sell to. So we're fortunate that BC consumers really like BC wine, and we're really hoping uh, and working hard at uh, opening up a border so that we can ship our wine directly to Canadians around the country. Attendees learned about marketing strategies as well as the science behind grape growing and how climate change could affect the industry. I think the one thing that I'm most excited about is some of the work that's being done around sustainability and tourism in the Thompson Okanagan region. Just really looking at that connection between you know the footprint that we leave as tourists um, and the impact that that has on industry um, and uh, and obviously on the residents and so on and and looking for ways to help uh, minimize some of that impact. The conference took place all day Tuesday. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Chelsea Powery. Looking for things to do? Find our event section under our blue Our Town button in the yellow masthead. Also, post an event for free anytime. <laughs>